What's up? What's up? What's up? About to do another video. I got something pretty spectacular for y'all boys today and girls. Me and my brother decided to come to Shooter's World at the gun range. Not really display our product, but just to see, uh, just to show y'all what we got available in our repertoire. I think that's the right word in our repertoire. So, um, got my book by with me. Got a few um, handguns. We're gonna be displaying those handguns. Tell you exactly the name brand of handguns and the caliber of the handgun. My brother's also showed up with me. All Make right. sure y'all sign up for his channel. Rep ENS, ENS Plus 3 TV. That's ENS Plus 3 TV. Y'all see what he got on back his bike. So make sure y'all stay tuned for what we're going to be displaying. We got a couple of um, shotguns, a couple of pistols as well. So we're going to be displaying those, tell you the name brand, exactly what they have. We're going to Shooter's World again. We're not representing Shooter's World. We're just here just to, you know what I'm talking about? This is for our, this, our shooting habits. So we finna go in and show y'all exactly what we got. Y'all stay with me. So we're going straight to the back, straight to the back. Um, usually you have to find, uh, fill out paperwork. Usually you have to fill out paperwork with your name, date of birth, all that blase blase. So you can get gain interest. They're gonna make sure that everything is legitimate with you. But I done been here before, so all my paperwork is already in. So um, I just basically got to show my ID. Hey. Basically gonna just show my ID. Got my ears, got my eyes. Basically saying that my ears are protected and my eyes are protected against any loose debris. So um, we're gonna just go in. Hey, what's going on? So we're gonna just go in and um, show y'all exactly what we got to offer. Um, go sit at the table and just uh, go talk about uh, talk about the guns that we have available. And um, that's basically it. So I'm gonna go up here and show my ID. Wait for my brother-in-law to come in. So we just left the window and the guy, young man said because it have been several months or so since we've been here last, they're requiring us to do like this safety, quick safety video, doesn't take too long, and kind of sign a waiver saying that we're not gonna hold them responsible for anything. The video, like I said, it shouldn't take too long, but they're requiring us to do it. It's kind of safety video of what their requirements, the do's and don'ts of coming to the um, to the gun range here at uh, the one that I'm at. So watch the video, sign a waiver, then we'll be back home to talk about what we got to offer. Be back. Guys, they're telling the guns out of one exit screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sure. So as y'all seen, I just um, paid for my lane, about $20 per lane. Then got my targets. Targets is a dollar a piece per target. So sometimes they have different varieties of targets. I mean, different prices of targets, but I guess they looking out for your boy because I must be VIP. No, I think the price is the same for everybody. So again, this is the tutorial to break down the XDM. Super easy to break down. All right, so the first step of breaking down your gun, you want to make sure you um, take out your clip, disengage your weapon, disengage the ammo out of the clip. Wanna so, and after that's done, after that's done, you want to pull your barrel back and push these two levers up. Again, this is pre pretty much on all your XDMs. Once you pull the barrel back, you push these back up. Again, your boy. I did, I do not condone, I do not condone or promote violence in any kind of way with the gun, whether it's for your home defense, on your person for concealed carry, or if you're doing it for entertainment or sports purposes. You always want to educate yourself on gun safety in all aspects, all aspects. Safety, safety, safety is first. Make sure you educate yourself on safety. After you, uh, after you push these two things up on your barrel, you then want to slide your barrel forward slide your barrel forward the 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 ammo has been taken out of the chamber already as y'all just seen me then we want to pull our trigger always keep the barrel faced a, a, away from anybody even though we already taking the stuff out of the barrel you still want to always point the barrel away from everybody homes every every everything you want everybody even your animals now you pull your trigger and then you slide your barrel forward once your barrel come forward, now this is out, whatever this, that whole thing is called, all that's out. 
and then you're ready to take out the spring. The spring is what causes your um, the weapon to automatically put another ammunition or ammo in the chamber and then you're able to take out your barrel. Your barrel comes out. You do your cleaning, whatever you gotta do, do your cleaning. Then you put your barrel back in. Of course, we're just gonna reverse everything in the opposite direction. Your spring go in next. Push that forward, so we're good there. You slide, slides back on. Boom, slide forward, back. Next, you wanna push this bike down. Make sure that's down because your, uh, your, 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 your weapon would not operate functional properly. Your weapon would not function properly unless you know, this, this is put back down. So to get that down, you have to engage this again to so lock your barrel backwards, push this down, and then this goes back forward. Boom, you're ready for action, boom. And your clip goes, and you're ready. Once that goes in, your, we your weapon is now ready. Your weapon is hot and it's ready. It's ready for the next um, engagement, special engagement. Hopefully nobody ain't got no special engagement, but it's ready, just in case. So make sure you clean your weapons often. Make sure you clean all your weapons often. Clean gun safety is super important. Not these guns, but this gun. Guns, but well, these guns are important too. Got to go to the gym. To make sure you educate yourself in the safety of weapons. And that's my tutorial. Back to your scheduled video. So, I am so back. Wait for my lane. They're gonna text me and let me know when my lane is open. They say they're gonna put us in lane one and two. Say the staff is not at its top today. So they got staff is minimized. So just to make sure they keep their eyes on everybody. They're not letting the uh, lanes get completely filled. As you can see, that um, they do have opening lanes. They do have lanes that is open but uh, because they don't have um, the max amount of staff that they would like, they're not letting everybody just go in all at one time. So they want to keep an eye on everybody and make sure nothing crazy don't happen. Nobody don't walk up here like Freddie or Jason. So, um, yeah, so we wait for our number to get called. Shouldn't be too much longer. And then um, we're gonna go in there. They're not letting me bring my weapons out out here in the waiting area. They're not letting me bring my weapons out, so I just kind of tell y'all what I have available. Got a Glock 9mm Blight. Glock 9mm Blight. It's um, a single, single stack, which means that it's thin and it's meant to carry on you. It's meant to carry on your person with minimum visual effects, uh, so you won't be able to see the silhouette shape on it while you're carrying it. I also have an XD 9mm, 6 9mm, single stacked as well. Again, single stack means that it's going to be easier to carry, a lot of lightweight. Disadvantage of a single stack is that it um, doesn't carry as many rounds. I also have my home defense weapon, much higher per caliber. Uh, that is a 45 caliber Taurus. It's a double stack, much more ammo that goes in it, much more rounds that goes in it. That's the one I usually keep at home. The other two that I usually keep on my person. Well, actually one of them is my nephew. Uh, he let me hold it for him while he's out taking care of some personal things. I got my brother with me. Now he have a pretty extensive artillery. Let's walk over here and see what he got. Y'all come with me. Let's go talk to him, see what he got to offer. It's right. It's like, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what's the process. I don't know. No, Bobby here. Hey, Bobby? Hey, so what's right. your position? Uh, just got here. What, so what is this, all the rental car, rental things you have to offer? Uh, yeah, from, uh, so all this, this whole wall is that, all this uh, for rent. Except this one uh, is for 21 years and older, no matter what, because they're all automatic. Okay, that's 21 years older, but everything here is available for rent? For rent, yes sir. Okay, okay. That's nice, that's nice. Do, do people prefer one gun over the next? Oh, absolutely, everyone has their own preference. Okay, okay. All right, do you find women use the shoes a lower, lower caliper or it just kind of variety? Eh? I'm sure there's a, gun for, there's a gun for any woman here, so uh, it depends on what they want. If they want something that's a big bullet, like a 45, that has a lot of hit to it, Okay. That's what they that's what they can get. It's gonna hurt your wrist a little bit, but you're gonna know if, if when that bullet hits whatever it hits, it's gonna do a lot of damage. Nice. Y'all hear what he said, it's gonna want, do a lot of damage. If you don't want a lot of kick to it, 
you're gonna deal less damage. It's gonna save your wrist, but you can also try it like a 22 long rifle. My dad says that's an assassin bullet because if you shoot someone in the head with, with a 22, it's gonna bounce around their head and scram with their brains. So. Oh, wow. Well, you heard it here assassin bullets. So I appreciate y'all watching me. Stay tuned with me while I go on the range and y'all gonna see what I have to display. So we're ready to head into the gun range. Let's go. It's gonna get kind of loud. So um, y'all probably gonna hear some of it, but I probably end up turning the volume down. But let's go with it and see what's going on. Got to wait till the first door closed before we can open the second door for safety precaution. And then let's go into the second door. Usually with any target, usually with any target, we usually target out about five to 10 yards because they say typically uh, your target is always gonna be about five to 10 yards. What you see in the movies when people shooting somebody 25, shooting at a target, I shouldn't say a person, not necessarily a person, but shooting at a target 25, 50 yards, you know, somebody way down the street, running around the corner, that's when you're shooting at a target that's moving away from you uh, because it's, no, it's not really a threat. But if the target's running towards you, you know, usually your target is within five to ten yards. That's why generally uh, everybody set their target about about five to six yards out for accuracy. Uh, I, I do a few rounds at about five to six yards, and then I push it out to about ten yards on my second round. So that's why you see typically everybody's um, target is about even. Everybody's target is about even. All right, so let's get set up. <laughs>
right, this time I'm finna start with the 9mm And then I'ma go to the 45 Taurus And then I'ma adjust myself back to a 9mm Just so I can get activated from Going from a lower caliber back to a high caliber back to a lower caliber size difference. Drop the mag. Good. Good. Lay it on there. Chamber guard. Very nice. Very nice. Full targeted. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. Look at that. Kindergarten. Yeah. <laughs> Kinder, kindergarten. Yeah. Well, first grade. Who started shooting kindergarten? He's the first grade. First, uh, fourth, fourth grade, right? Fourth? Yeah. Fourth grade. Oh, wow. Your YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, what are you doing? I find you. I, I'm going to give you one of my cards. You're going to be my card, okay. I gotta give That's very cool. Yeah. I just started one for the okay. yeah. Who do your editing? Sons with Guns. This is the first one I got at the um this is the first YouTube I did at a gun range. I usually do like school I do um um um, um spear fishing. Oh spear fishing, I go out and traveling and eating and fish, go fishing, hunting, the whole bit. We're gonna be your fans. Oh yeah? We're gonna subscribe. Yeah, nice, yeah, nice. Let, me, let me have a card. I you got know. you. Yeah, for sure. Break it up some, point it at target. All right, go. Oh,
this that man right here. This that man right here. Now these grown folks. These grown folks. The first ones was grown folks, but these are grown over folks. These grown over folks. And this for super grown folks. Y'all hear this at the door? Stop, turn around. It's that John Wick. So our time is up, so we ain't get a chance to do the most. Y'all seen the Y'all seen the Benelli. That Benelli is that pump shot action. That's what y'all see on John Wick the movie. That's what y'all see on John Wick the movie. That's that Benelli. Um, I ain't get a chance to bring out the Mossberg. Well, I brought the Mossberg out. My brother brought the Mossberg out. But we ain't get a chance to handle it today because that time ran out. But y'all seen that John Wick. That John Wick is something serious. Bring your target in. Tell him bring your target in. Bring your target in.